water pump removal 2.2 Ecotec GM engine. Okay, you need to undo the radiator hoses. You have your big one and you have your small one, your heater hose. Then you have a bolt, which is a um, 10 millimeter bolt that brackets up against the head. You need to remove that one bolt so it releases this. Then you need to go to the back side of it. This is where the fun starts. I tell you, it's a lot easier to remove the, the uh, exhaust manifold, but I suppose it's manageable without m removing it. Very difficult with it in place, the exhaust manifold. I'd recommend removing the exhaust manifold. It's not very difficult. Removing the exhaust manifold. And this way you can replace the exhaust manifold gasket. This way you assure yourself you have no exhaust leak. Anyhow, you have this contraption here, which is your water distributor. And you have three bolts that hold it on. You have two on the top side, which are 10 millimeter bolts again. And you have one on the bottom side, just one directly underneath this, this spot here. You can go underneath and it's right there, directly underneath it. And then you have two 10 millimeter bolts again that go into this tube place here, the water carrier tube, and it bolts into the water distributor. So you remove the water distributor and you have one plug connection and a couple more heater hose connections. So you remove the plug, lifting the little tab up, applying outward pressure, and it will come off. And then you're removing the clips. Do not cut the hose like I did. Remove the clips, lift up the hoses, and then you move this out of the way. You're going to have to be gentle where that stem comes up. Remove it out of the way, and this is the perfect opportunity to change the thermostat. Now you have this tube, which is going to be loose. Okay, I don't want this falling out of place here. I'm trying to show everybody. Oh boy. Okay. So you have that tube. You can leave that tube in place. And on the back side here, you have a whole bunch of 10 millimeter bolts and a couple 13 millimeters. So you remove all of those. And on the other side, you have a little plate that you need to remove and you have three 10, ten millimeter bolts that go into the little gear in there and then everything becomes loose and then you maneuver it enough until you can remove the water pump and you see those t those bolts off the wheel itself the wheel inside there are the bolts that bolt to the water pump itself then you change your water pump and you reverse the process for installation. Now you have gaskets and all the rest of it throughout all these connecting connecting points to the engine. In this case here, it's rubber. So they need to be replaced with the uh, new water pump. I'm sure they may come as part of the kit. They may come partly on the water pump. I'm not really sure. And then on the other piece that attaches he to here, there is an O-ring. I imagine the O-ring comes with a new thermostat, but I'm not really sure. If it doesn't, replace it. And there's also an O-ring where it fastens up against the block. You may want to replace that one as well. It's just a good idea to make sure all these gasket points are new. Avoid leaks. Avoid leaks, folks. And this tube just simply is sitting in there, which will come out. Well, this is actually taking apart the water pump. Well, this piece here is the part you're going to get with that tube. It just sits. And then there is your water pump, all by its lonesome, all by itself. This will be the piece you'll be getting new. And now you have the steps involved for re replacing it. You need to know you know what to do to get to get it out, and it's the reverse process of installing it. Okay, folks, thank you for watching. 2.2 Ecotech GM engine Saturn View.